Hello everybody. Let's take a look at the third generation and the fourth generation Lincoln Town Cars. I wish I had all of them lined up, but that would be uh, too, too good to be true, especially with those first generations uh, uh, kind of getting scarce and expensive. All right, so we have a 2001 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series, which was uh, the one below the top of the line Cartier, and we have a 2006 Lincoln Town Car Signature Limited, so they switched it up a little, which just so happens to be right below the designer series which was i think considered like a top of the line their unique uh trim level for 2006 and 2007 and after that they discontinued it and it's interesting how they kind of went from the branded cartier to just they didn't want to pay their royalties anymore so they're like let's let's get rid of their 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 branding stuff and let's just give us uh whatever the designer and that could be whatever you want it to be could be tommy hilfiger edition for all for all you care about all right so let's start to look at the, starting to look at the front so the front i am i'm always excited to kind of see how and i'm trying to get into the mind of the designer now they went from the blocky the squarish rectangular to a more swoopy more you could call it modern maybe i mean dare i say a bit more sporty with the thinner headlights and a little smaller grill and then they went straight back into the more upright with larger headlights uh, with I guess just more grill you can see they kind of they kind of increased the bottom piece which I mean it's cosmetic and then they they had a smaller one there not really sure where they were going for uh, but uh, you know I am interested how they went with the hood ornament here they they didn't want to do it here once again maybe it's uh, some sort of uh, give us more modern stuff at the time but also they kept this spine which is uh, yeah, you know, I just noticed it, too, like right here in the middle. Huh. Okay, so overall, I mean, very similar look, but yet they they've changed it, they modified it. But what they did, the, what they did keep, and I think this could be said about a lot of um, Ford, you know, Lincoln Mercury, they kept their their chromes, their their chrome here, and even on the lesser vehicle like a Taurus they did have the outline of these things and i don't know once again i'm not a car designer i don't know what kind of inspiration they're going for but they they did keep it but they they didn't have any chrome in it they just had the imprint of where the chrome would be so yeah maybe tell tell me in the comments which one do you like more you know and it's not to say that one is better than the other it's just you know different different style there's a reason why manufacturers change their their styling or change or give a, give us a, a yearly update uh, just to see, you know, what what lands. Now, does this one have the cornering lights? This one has the cornering okay. lights. Okay, and yeah. is it, it's it's these, That's right? It. Okay, because I was thinking here, but yeah. All right, so you do have the cornering lights on both of them. Although, once again, the design has changed. It's like, they move the, the orange stuff to a different spot. And <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, I always I always geek out to these things. By the way, I did, uh, as far as the headlights are mm -hmm. concerned, I did locate some after not aftermarket actually uh, OEM okay. lights as spares for the uh, time when these inevitably develop uh, cloudiness mm -hmm. and uh, leakage so I'm ready for it when it happens okay all right very good looking ahead and speaking of that I did have that uh, these are replacement uh, aftermarket lights and they are about a year and a few weeks old and since I replaced them I did develop I had a video of maybe last week where this developed uh, moisture inside and I fixed it with my very low budget gasket maker because I noticed that the aftermarket gasket broke. So not saying this is the best way to fix it, but it I'd rather it. pay five bucks for a little gasket maker than another $89 for another set of these. Yeah. Believe so. it or not, the um, cost of uh, a brand new uh, OEM replacement mm -hmm. was 100 per. Okay. So for $200, yeah. uh, it, it has the factory uh, a replacement if uh, the time comes okay all right well i hope that time is not for a long time all right i mean overall comparing these vehicles obviously this one is in much better shape uh even though it's older but yeah it's way it's like a fifth of the mileage uh doesn't seem to have any damage on it mine because the way i bought it has already some damage but we're not really comparing the two cars per se because uh, mine would lose <laughs> on the rust alone that's mostly underneath 
but we are looking at the, the styling. So let's let's go on. Let's go through the size of these things. Wheels. Now I do love these wheels. Not only because they're not corroded and they don't have flex seal on them to keep them from flaking off anymore. But I do like this. Uh, I know they were known as like before there was a turbine, turbine wheel. I don't know if these things have a name. I think they call them honeycomb. Honeycomb. Okay. They're, they're honeycomb wheels. And yeah, I know that there's some options for these things it would be like a huge, like a chromey, uh, chrome uh, rims. And I think they did have on um, the executive series, a little different styling to this. With you, uh, I, I like the mm -hmm. looks of these wheels a lot, but if I was to replace mm -hmm. them, I would either uh, go with the executive or with the uh, Cartier. Okay. So um, you, that's not your favorite? It is until I have to wash them. Ah, there's so many get, uh, intricacies. Getting in there. Yes. Okay. That's true. Yes. A lot. <laughs> it's a long time to get those things clean. Oh. All right, sorry folks, battery died. So we were talking about how these are painted. I didn't even notice they were painted. <laughs> so there's that. All right, going down the side here, we got the little town car badge here, nothing here. This is the simplification phase. Uh, it's interesting how both of our cars do not have any stripes on it. I've seen a lot of them with stripes. And I know a lot of them were dealership uh, aftermarket uh, accessories. Uh, these do not have it. Um, interesting to see this is uh, body color painted this is not um, but it's interesting to see that this is full chrome and this is body painted here so I'm not sure if this is like the more modernized version of, of that or not this is little uh, pins chrome weird <laughs> all right I'm not gonna compare every every little thing but just going down the side here, right? The script changed here to here. I don't like these badges. I think they're the cheapest badge you can possibly have. Uh, I'm not sure why they couldn't do something more special and you know that good stuff. And I already mentioned how that that keypad. Well, I should probably point how this keypad. It's always black on these cars. I don't know why they couldn't figure out a way how to more integrate them. All right. So going down here. Yeah, very similar, you know, kind of body lines, everything. This is all the same, the chrome. All right, let's look at the back. So here, I'm going to walk kind of further out. All right, so the back. More tilted kind of this way, more upright. But the overall outline is the same. The, the taillights are the same. I do love these little stars in here, and it looks like it's a... It's one of these star within a star type of deal because this also follows. Uh, these are way more simple. You can't really see. I mean, I don't know. They have some shape in there. Um, what else? The chromy stripe is the same way, although this one stretches the entire width. This one kind of stops here. Also, the whole uh, bracket is different. I also noticed weird stuff here that, you know, this piece is chrome, but the inside is painted gray. But then when the gray, which obviously kind of flaked off a little there's chrome underneath so they literally painted chrome now it's a fake chrome but i i don't understand why did they even bother chroming this entire thing back here only to paint over it seems like a very weird waste of resources where here it looks like they stopped with the chrome and then the back of it is just gray plastic so or it's probably the whole thing is gray plastic and they only chrome the outer edges of it so yeah very strange no Lincoln, no town car written anywhere here, just in the chrome there, which, which is very nice touch. This generation did not have backup sensors, uh, and they, but they both hid their exhaust. Uh, yep, okay, so they do have a spot there for the second pipe to go out, but that one is there. Uh, wait, on mine, wait, I have double or do I have single? I don't even know. One. So, okay, this one has double, but I think at this point that's that was standard. I don't think they were doing the pay extra for a double exhaust. I agree. I yes. don't, yeah, I don't think so. Mine, obviously, you guys can see, suffered some damage. I don't think I caused any of it. I think this is how I bought it, but obviously somebody bumped into stuff or somebody bumped into me. And this one does have the hidden sensors, which they had the ones that ex that exposed on the uh, um, on the previous generation. All right, so as far as the interior goes, I mean, I'll just quickly show you mine. I mean, if you guys are interested about the interior of my car, watch like any other 50 videos that I have on it. But just to kind of give you a glimpse, this is how the interior is on uh, 2006 through 2011, which is basically you have this style of a steering wheel, this style of uh, instrument cluster, 
the rest is kind of the same. Uh, I'm still lucky enough to have the, the actual uh, console that opens up because a lot of them after that had just a foam block there that wouldn't open. Lucky enough to have a factory sunroof. Uh, Signature Limited had the heated seats and, and the, all the, the, the controls there. And then these style of post straps. Let's kind of focus on this one. One other thing though. Yeah, go ahead. Notice the um, location of the third brake light. Ah, okay. Mine is on top. Yours is on the bottom. I did not realize that. Okay. Huh. I don't know if there's a significance. Maybe if you happen to drive and you've got eight inches of snow on it. <laughs> May, oh, so like you would see it better if you have a... Yeah. Uh, pump. All right. Oh, let's open the trunks. Yeah. Let's also do this. I forgot. All right. So there's mine. All right. So power opening. This generation did not have it, although I'm really questioning how useful it is. Uh, as far as the overall layout... I mean, it's it's similar. So we both have tan interiors. Uh, so tan form, form as this. Did yours have the stars on them? No. No, that's weird. But they're the originals. They're okay. The stars. Uh -huh. Notice though that your opening is wider than mine. Yeah. Oh, you're right. So this swoop. Yeah. This swoop is shorter. Or, like, I guess not as wide, more narrow this one is. And here's the other thing. It's probably because of this. Well, your latch, too, is uh, kind of flush where you won't necessarily okay. ruin something dragging it over. Ah, and this is more exposed. Does this one auto suck down? No, like... it does not. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, you see, I didn't, I didn't realize I that. I got a trunk light on mine. Yes, the... trunk light is here. Yes. And that's it. Well, his has, and no, and this is where the spare was. Yes. Was up there, and later on they moved it One there. One of the uh, things that I like about uh, the later series is mm -hmm. the uh, mini spare on the side, so it frees up more space mm -hmm. uh, for you know loading a yes. bunch of junk inside the car. Okay. Although it's nice to have a full size spare if you happen to get a flat. <laughs> that uh, is you very know, the true. Of the, you know, very Death Valley. True. That is very true. Okay. So yeah, that is true. So mine is down here. Although I did mention in a few of my videos, I would trade this shelf for just longer foot foot room in the in the back. Yes. Like I know they have the extended versions, right. all that, but this to me, like yes, you can put a suitcase in there, but it's it's a waste. Well, uh, you're right about that because if you were to look at a Toyota Avalon, mm -hmm. the car isn't as big as this. But the trunk but, is. Well, but the uh, mm -hmm. area in the back seat yeah. has a lot more leg room, believe it or not. Yeah, because the trunk is not configured like this, and right. they just moved. Yeah, more usable space. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not sure. It does look like somebody used my spare at some point. I luckily did not need to. Uh, I also I noticed that some of the older models had a, an actual handle in here, like a plastic insert that formed to a handle. Later on, they got rid of the plastic piece, and it's just. Okay, uh, they, they, they molded it, so uh, there's we that. We uh, did a few things uh, as the models progressed in, in mm -hmm. you know, time. By the time they were finished, I wouldn't give you a nickel for the quality of the uh, parts inside there. Well, yeah, interior. because it was just, let's just crank them out. Hey, we can squeeze another year out of this thing. Let's just keep making them. Let's figure out a way how to make them cheaper, and, yep. and let's, let's keep going. All right, so the inside. So it's interesting. They both have this type of uh material mine is a bit more scuffed up a bit yeah. more discolored that's just natural over the years uh what do we have silver tan so this one tan on tan so silver on tan um all right so as far as this is concerned i mean they they do share a lot still you know they're five years apart a generation although technically speaking I don't know if this is more of an evolution. It's not like a revolutionary new design because they kept a lot of this stuff. Uh, they changed a few things. I don't know. Is it for better or for worse? Uh, you know, they got rid of the, what is, how many positions this is? Like six, five position heated seats. Then they just gave us the high and the low. Kept some of the stuff. I never understood why the lumbar moved from where it is here, which makes more sense than over there. I True. Don't, don't really understand. It's more convenient here, if anything. Um, yeah, I mean, you have the rest. Uh, I do love the steering wheel more, but I do love my gauge cluster a bit more, so I guess there's a trade-off there. Uh, the middle seats, yeah, very questionable whether or not it could be used as a six-passenger seat with any level of uh, comfort or safety. Uh, but overall, it's, I mean, it's very, it's very nice. These, uh, these headrests, uh, I mean, you have to have them adjusted to avoid uh, kind of a neck whiplash, because 
They are tiny, but I would rather have this than the one they had at the very last few years, the ginormous, yes, like a huge. giant thing that blocked half of your view out the back. Yes. Um, once again, different safety regulation maybe, but yeah, these may be less useful, but uh, I would rather have these. <laughs> yeah, some of the console stuff is the same, sunroof. Uh, the layout of the headliner, everything is the same. I do love the little stars here. So again, they didn't have to do this, but it's like, hey, why not? We're proud of our of our brand, of our star. I mean, I, I like the symbol myself. Uh, the back seats. Obviously, the design of the seats change. I mean, these are super comfy, and in this particular case, they're very well kept. Uh, the rear air vents, same. I mean, they're identical. You can't tell them apart from the two years. Uh, this whole uh, light fixture right up here, same, same exact, they didn't change anything. Um, Alright, so the, here they did not have the cigarette lighters in this uh, generation either. I think in the older ones they still had. Uh, yeah, I mean, very nice. So as far as the interior goes, it's, it's again, very similar slight differences it's interesting how this button is different the traction control they they've changed the button for some reason but it's still in the same spot one thing i love about any of these cars is a uh, lack of blank switches the one thing i don't like about these okay. cars though has to do with um even though the uh, steering wheel tilts it doesn't telescope does not telescope it that needs right. the telescope to really fit you perfectly and they don't and, okay uh, that's where cadillac is uh, lincoln b all right. Uh, generally, they uh, adjust it both ways. But you know what? At least in this, in these, they do tilt like here. Where in some cars they tilt up here, yes. so it's it's not even a tilt. It's more of just a, a slight change in position. Exactly. All right. So let me pop the hood on mine, and then we'll wrap it up. And let's see. All right. Once again, not gonna spend too much time looking at my own car. I can do that any day of the week. But here you go. You have the good old-fashioned 4.6 liter. Same idea. What is this piece here? I often wondered what this was. No clue, but it has something to do air in, well, I don't know, air intake. I know that the sensor is here for the oxygen, but no clue. I'm going to find out. I, you know what? It's been yeah. uh, bugging me for all these years, and I never did. Find it. <laughs> yeah. I have someone that knows. It doesn't look like there's any electronics going in there. Uh, maybe if uh, there's a mechanic out there watching this, I know a few of you are. I don't have one uh, on mine. But, uh, yeah, no idea. And, and also, the, um, the oil in, you know, the oil uh, filler tube is in a different place on yours. Yours is on the right side, mine's on the driver's side. Okay. So let's take a look. Well, you know what? Also, the transmission fluid is yours over there in a very awkward spot, the dipstick? Yes, it is. Okay. Except that you can see it from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I always found that to be a very awkward place for that thing okay yeah so okay so a lot of it is the same not a lot of differences but okay they change the cover a little different my computer uh, is underneath the dash and yours is ah, outside. right up there yep you're right okay wow yours even still has like the barcode sticker there so very nice let's see what else this whole cowl piece is the same. They didn't change that. Uh, mine is all there. I know I mentioned it in the previous video, but mine, you know, I cleaned this out religiously because I would hate to have my car flood again. But then on this one, somebody did put a screen here. Pre one of the previous owners did, so that's a nice touch. It's possible he owned a 98 and he had uh, an issue with uh, leakage and <laughs> figured uh, for, uh, you know, Keep yeah, it from happening. Absolutely. To him yep. I would rather have that than to, to deal with it. Animal? I don't know. That's a good question. I wondered about that because it looks like it could have been done by uh, a mouse or something. Yeah. You know, I don't know. All I saw was the, uh, you know, when I first looked at this car, mm -hmm. I was, you know, noticing that it had that light under the hood and didn't oh, even yeah. notice the, um, okay, you know, the damage to that insulator. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, look at this. Also, Lincoln Star in there. Yeah, I didn't, I just noticed that. Okay, so they got rid of the light. Mine, does mine have a light? No, mine does not have a light. All right, no light for me. Oh, this one is also interesting. So this one opens up with the grill because it's part of the hood. And then this one, you have half of it. 
is here than the upper piece here. Obviously, this whole latch mechanism is different now because it's all here. But man, look how much room there is. Yes. <laughs> Between the, the outmost front of the car, this, you know, a, a cat can fit in there easily. And then you have more empty space and then more. <laughs> and then the engine, I mean, there's like, what, four feet of... Oh, maybe three and a half or so feet between the engine and the front. Wow. I mean, wait, what do I have? I have I have some, well, I have some empty space too. But this is nice and more visible. <laughs> yeah, this is where, you know, they put these little uh, leveling things in the, in the headlights. In the headlights. Yes. That one didn't have it. Uh, also, nice, easily accessible adjuster here too. But yeah, I mean, this is some of the cylinders and stuff. I mean, that's that's pretty similar. Uh, power steering, yep, all that is the same. Okay, so overall, similar, a little different, but I think anybody looking at both of these vehicles will, will see the, the lineage, the uh, kind of where it all came from and where it headed. All right, and that. Oh yeah, and then this generation came up with this weird handle that, that pops up. Okay, all right, Ron, anything to add, to say? No, I just um, hope that uh, the differences between the two will make it easy for someone that's considering one of these cars to kind of get an idea of what to expect with the different uh, uh, versions. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So you can't really go wrong with either one of them. Obviously, it all comes down to the condition, what you like. Uh, plenty of people I do see way more of these simply because they're they're the cheaper ones they are the ones who got way more abuse uh, you know former cabs and limos and so forth uh, I can't imagine many of, of these that were former limos or cabs are still on the road they probably rotted away by now so uh, this is the first one on, on this channel uh, that I had the you know the you know the owner you know was <laughs> nice enough to show it to me I had most of them were this generation and i did have one that i posted a few weeks ago which was the second generation the, the burgundy one Those are beautiful. uh yeah that was also i would love to have it here on the line <laughs> but well, you know maybe, maybe someday road. maybe someday know. haven't had the chance to film the first generation one although my dad when we first came to the united states my dad had a 1989 mercury grand marquis of that body style yeah. obviously he was a piece of crap he bought it for like 700 bucks back then it was falling apart but uh, that was my only experience with these cars. All right, everybody, this is it. Post, post in the comments, what do you guys think? And by the way, if you guys are out here in Illinois, uh, you know, if you wanna meet up with me and you know, we'll, we have some good time talking, filming, you know, you know where to find me. Thank you and we'll see you next time.